Hello, and welcome to Idea Spectrum's Getting Started with Real-Time Landscaping Photo. I'm going to show you how to create and landscape designing over a photo. To start, we're going to click Settings, select Background Picture, and then Import a New Picture. Click Next, and make sure that the picture type is set to Background Photo. Click Next, and then locate your image. Next, Next, and Finish. Now we are going to add a region. Click Region and then add your point. And then a mulch bed, we're going to select Region again, add our points, but this time we're going to turn, change the curve type to Spline and that way it can curve around the corner. And then we're going to set it back to Line and then Finish. Now. I'm going to change the material to mulch and then I'm going to send it behind. To do this, click Edit, send to back, and then now put it behind the grass. Now we're going to add some edging and then right click the finish. Adjust the height as desired. Now we're going to add some plants. Click Plant and then click the thumbnail to open up the library. Click search and I'm going to type in boxwood. Adjust the plant by adjusting the scale. Now I'm going to hit edit, copy to copy the image, edit, paste to paste it, but to save some time we're going to hit control C and then control V to paste. We're going to add another plant. Control C, control V to paste. And then anything that appears in the gray will not print. Add another plant, perennial, and then again adjust it. And then we're going to send it to the back and press B on the keyboard. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And then once again, let's add another plant. And send it to the back and then resize it. Send it to the back. Sometimes there's things in the image that you don't want there, and that's how we're going to clone out a specific object. So I'm going to click Settings, Background Picture, and then Edit using the Picture Editor. To remove an object, zoom in. and then click Clone. Right-click to specify the material you would like to copy. Left-click, hold, and drag to start removing. Again, you will want to right-click to continue specifying the material you want to copy. There we go. We're going to zoom out. And then sometimes an image will import upside down and in that case, you just want to rotate your image one way or the other. So go ahead and close the picture editor, save the changes, click yes, and then we'll just click yes, and then click OK. And as you see, it is now no longer there. To show a before and after image, we're going to click the picture import wizard, click next, and then this time set the picture type to other photo, click next, and then select the image again. Adjust the size. And then turn off cast shadow. And then add some text. Click this button over here. Before. Click OK. Adjust. To save your finished image as a screenshot to share with uh, clients, you want to click File, 
export to file and then select your type and we're just going to call this finished click save set your resolution type and click OK we're going to click no for now and there we have our first landscape thank you for watching and be sure to check out ideaspectrum.com for more information about our software